As AI technology booms, RAG is becoming a game changer, quickly becoming partners in problem solving and domain applications, and this is what makes RAG unique. However, RAG has problems such as a large gap between vector similarity and knowledge reasoning relevance, and insensitivity to knowledge logic, such as numerical values, time relationships, expert rules, etc., which hinder the implementation of professional knowledge services. Can you imagine? You have a chatbot that requires reasoning based on specific relationships between knowledge fragments to collect information related to answering questions. However, RAG usually relies on the similarity of text or vectors to retrieve reference information, which may lead to incomplete and repeated search results. That's where KAG comes in. Knowledge Augmented Generation aims to fully utilize the advantages of knowledge graphs and vector retrieval and bidirectionally enhance large language models and knowledge graphs to solve these problems. Knowledge alignment based on semantic reasoning, KAG significantly outperforms methods such as naive RAG and hippo RAG in multi-hop question answering tasks with a relative improvement of 19.6% in the F1 score on Hotpot QA and 33.5% on 2Wiki. These performance leaps are mainly attributed to the more efficient index construction, knowledge alignment, and development of hybrid problem-solving libraries in the framework. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. We have two separate parts. First, we start with knowledge management, where I will upload a PDF that includes all the charts, tables, and images. Let me show you how CAG extracts data. CAGI employs a knowledge representation model to organize information into a structured format, making it compatible with both structured and unstructured data. Next, CAGI uses a mutual indexing mechanism that links knowledge graphs with original text chunks. Its indexing allows for efficient retrieval of relevant information based on user queries and connects structured knowledge with unstructured data. Please stay tuned until the end because I will show you something cool how you can use SQL and Neo4j to extract your data. Then we move to the knowledge base question and answer section. I will ask it a straightforward question. What is net income in 2024? When I pose the question, CAG processes the query to understand its intent and context. This involves identifying key entities, relationships, and the overall structure of the question. Afterwards, KAG generates a logical form based on my query. It then retrieves relevant information from the knowledge graph, including entities, relationships, or triples, as well as data aggregation to generate a clear and understandable answer for the user. In this video, I'll quickly go over the document so you are 100% up to speed on what is Kagi, what it features, how it works, what is difference between GraphRag and Kagi, and even we'll be installing applications on screen that you can copy, paste, and adapt for your uses. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. The Knowledge Aware Graph Generator Framework is open source and fully utilizes the complementary advantages of knowledge graph and RAG technology. It not only integrates the graph structure into the knowledge base, but also integrates the semantic types, relations, and knowledge graph question answering of the knowledge graph into knowledge aware graph generator. The knowledge aware graph generator framework enhances professional question answering with key features like LLM friendly knowledge representation, which helps large language models understand and utilize knowledge graphs effectively. Its mutual indexing links structured knowledge graphs with unstructured text for seamless information retrieval, while the logical form-guided hybrid reasoning engine enables advanced reasoning, such as planning and math, to tackle complex questions. Semantic reasoning ensures knowledge alignment with user queries, improving accuracy by matching context and intent and improve natural language processing boosts KAG's ability to understand, reason, and generate clear and precise answers. The KAG architecture consists of three core components, KAG Builder, KAG Solver, and KAG Model. KAG Builder is responsible for building offline indexes. 
This module proposes a knowledge representation framework compatible with large language models and implements a mutual indexing mechanism between knowledge structures and text fragments. KG Solver introduces a hybrid reasoning engine guided by logical forms, integrating large language model reasoning, knowledge reasoning, and mathematical logic reasoning. Semantic reasoning is used for knowledge alignment to enhance the accuracy of KAG Builder and KAG Solver in knowledge representation and retrieval. CAG model is based on a general language model and optimizes the specific capabilities required by each module, thereby improving overall module performance. CAG and GraphRag differ primarily in their integration and reasoning capabilities. CAG fully leverages knowledge graphs by incorporating semantic relationships and employing a hybrid reasoning engine for logical retrieval and numerical tasks, enabling structured and complex problem solving. It enhances general large language model capabilities in professional domains with improved semantic alignment and tailored natural language understanding, natural language inference, and natural language generation. In contrast, GraphRag focuses more on retrieval and generation with less emphasis on semantic reasoning, logical planning, and domain-specific performance, potentially limiting its effectiveness for complex queries and professional applications. The Knowledge Aware Graph Generator backend service is based on the OpenSPG Knowledge Graph construction framework, which we have discussed. First, build the graph server using the official OpenSPG server documentation. Let's go to the Docker website and download the Docker file on Windows. Once you install Docker Desktop, we open the terminal and run the following command. Then we check our services are up and running and run this command. To ensure everything is working correctly, check the logs of the main service and run this command. Copy the link and paste it into the browser to access the OpenSPG CAG product interface. Then we click Create Knowledge Base. First, we start choosing a Chinese name for the knowledge base. Next, you'll need an English name. Remember, it must start with a capital letter, contain at least three characters, and only include letters and numbers. In this video, I will name it something like KAG Demo. After that, we'll set up the graph storage configuration. We copy a simple JSON setup. By default, you can use the local Neo4j database. Now, let's move to the model configuration. Choose a model like ChatGPT or DeepSeek. Add your API key and other details in JSON format. For embedding, I will use OpenAI embedding. You can also use Olama for embedding as it has some cool embedding models. Lastly, you'll need to set the language for your knowledge base, either Chinese or English. I will keep it as the default. Keep in mind that you can set up the chatbot fully locally using Olama. If you want to know how to do it, please check this document. Once you save the configuration successfully, you will see that the small box includes knowledge management and question and answer. In this case, you didn't save the configuration successfully, you may face the problem that I faced when I installed NeoJ4 as an unknown error. The way to solve this problem is simple. Just check if release open SPG Neo4 starts successfully, then rerun the container. Let's click on Knowledge Management. Once you click, we create a task name, your knowledge task, and choose the local file to upload files. With all supported type file suffixes through the knowledge base management page to carry out the knowledge base construction process. We click on the next step. Make max segment length as default and hit the next step. Once you see this screen, keep it as default and hit the finish button once. You finish. You can create tasks as much as you can. The more knowledge, the better your chatbot is. Note, you need to wait until the icon turns green for the task status to be completed. To check the progress, click on the log view icon to ensure all content has been extracted successfully as shown. One of the many features I like about OpenSGP is that we can use the Neo4 J browser to extract knowledge and check the knowledge extraction results. This feature is really helpful for anyone who wants to track the data and ensure that the chatbot generates accurate responses using a cipher query. So let's click on knowledge management to interact with the chatbot and test it out. And I will ask the chatbot the complex question from Kaji paper. 
what are the names of the models they fine tuning free. If you take a look, you'll see that when I asked the question, the chatbot used logical reasoning to generate the output. The answer is accurate, well structured, easy for non technical users to understand, and more precise without any unrelated information. The CAG framework is still in the early stages of development, so there's room for changes and improvements. With new features like custom schemas and visual queries, Knowledge Aware Graph Generator not only enhances the accuracy and efficiency of knowledge extraction and question answering, but also strengthens its foundation. These updates pave the way for developing more robust and reliable professional knowledge services. Plus, the abstract generation classes have been optimized. If we try using different scale models at various stages, CAG's performance could get even better. And hey, since OpenCAG is open source, we should take advantage of the code and see how it can help us create custom solutions for whatever we need.